Welcome to the Zubix channel. My name is Maxine and today I've got a super exciting delivery that I want to unbox with you and that is of the Lego Periodic Table of Colors. Inside this lovingly packaged gift from Holland uh, we've got a nice little bubble wrap thing in here. Here we go. Ooh, this is exciting. Looks like we've got a whole bunch of really cool stickers here. Ah, yeah. I'll put them out and I'll, uh, I'll show you what they look like because they're super cool. There's loads of them. So here we go. Wow. A lot of care has gone into packaging this. Uh, and as you can see, look at the quality of that. That's amazing. And there's even a little badge down here number 586 of a thousand it says first batch periodic table of lego colors version 3.0 wlwyb.com um, and what it's got basically uh, for those of you who don't know is it has got literally every single color of lego that you can actually uh, buy so there's different examples of the pieces placed on the table and then what's really useful is down here You've got the number of sets that the colors actually appeared in. Uh, so for example, this trans bright green has been in 503 different sets. Um, it's got the Bricklink name, which is trans bright green. Then it's also got the Lego official name, which is transparent bright green. So depending on where you're getting your pieces from, it's super useful to use this as a reference. It's also got information like the production years. So when it was actually made, so trans bright green was made from 2006 to 2023. So that means it's still in production. It's got its Bricklink color ID which is number 108 and also the Lego color ID which is 311. It looks super nice. It's on like a bit of thick board. You can see all the Lego pieces there sticking out as you turn it sideways and yeah it looks really smart and there's a little hanger there as well so you can hang it up on the wall. So why would you want one of these, you might ask? Well, there's lots of different reasons. Obviously, if you are a Lego geek or an AFOL or an adult fan of Lego, this looks super cool on the wall, but obviously when you've got a Lego room, it's actually really, really useful. I was on Bricklink the other day trying to figure out exactly what color dark tan was in comparison to other similar kind of light brown colors. And if you're not used to buying loads of bricks and you haven't already learned all those names, it will be a really handy reference tool but mainly because it is a collector's item obviously it's limited to a thousand of them um, and it does look super cool on the wall and i've put the link in the comments below if you'd like to purchase your own and of course who doesn't want a whole bunch of stickers as well i mean that was just a really nice surprise bonus go ahead and get your own very cool periodic table of lego elements <laughs> 